Hey guys, welcome back to Jersey Shore Beers and Brews Reviews. We got another beer to it uh, today. This is our fourth. Uh, the last one, that pumpkin ale, I had to take a break from it. Man, that 9% makes you tired, makes you not want to do anything. You had to grab something to eat, get it back in gear, we're ready to go. All right, so this one is, uh, this one's from Kentucky, Lexington Brewing Company, Brewing and Distilling Company. Um, it is called Coffee Barrel Cream Ale. Those guys were established in 1999. They've been around for a little while. It's amazing that's like 23 years ago. This one comes in at 5.5%. Brewed and packaged by Lexington Brewing Company, Lexington, Kentucky. Cream Ale with natural flavors added, aged in oak bourbon barrels. Nice, uh, nice label on it. Got the big old horse head on there with Kentucky above it. Nothing too much else going on on the label. Some writing up top. Coffee, green, toffee, oak. Hops, centennial. Cream ale, natural flavors, aged in oak bourbon barrels. So that's that's pretty much it. Let's, let's crack it open and see what it does. I love a good cream ale. Oh man. I haven't had one of them in a while. People don't brew that stuff. Everybody brews an IPA. I don't understand. There's so many IPAs out there. I just don't get it. So many other styles. Come up with something good, guys. Come up with something good. Think out of the box. Some of the brewers are, are definitely thinking out of the box. Not too much I've had developing on that. Nice and clear, crystal clear. Comes in with an amber color. See what it smells like. Not too much in the aroma department. I'm not really catching a whiff of anything really, per se. Looks beautiful though. You know, I love the things that aren't straw colored. That they're just a little bit a little bit darker than the straw colored. When I'm you don't need to go into like heavy toffee and 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 the coffees and you know chocolates and stuff like that. But just a little bit of amber, that's nice. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow. You wanna talk about molting that slaps you upside the face? This is, whoa, whoa. That is an amazing profile on that. Definitely toffee, toffee all the way. Tastes wonderful. Finishes right in the beginning of your mouth. Doesn't drag into the back of your throat. This should be pretty easy drinking. I mean, whew, man, you get a 12 pack of these, you'll be hammered. No doubt about it. They go down, this will go down like water. Should I say candy? A little smoky, a little bourbon. That's from the barrels. Man, aging in the, the bourbon barrels really makes that, that flavor profile come through these beers um, several of them have done that Masagave holy cow the tequila battle barrels Wow this is great this is a great beer easy drinking um, hmm I've seen a couple more beers on the shelf from these guys and they were a little bit higher octane you know so I'm, I'm gonna start doing those we're not gonna do so many beer reviews a day you know maybe two or three instead of four or five um, because like I said you start drinking like eight nine percent beers I mean I'm a big guy I, just, I, I can't do it either you know what I'm saying I'll start being silly and I don't want to be silly um, this for a review score on it man I'd love to push it in the eights um, but I'm not gonna you know kind of eights are reserved that's the way I look at them. If you're getting an eight, you're getting like, that's like top of the class. If you get a nine, you're like class valedictorian. That's, that's what a nine is. You know, you're, you're that, that dude. Um, I'm gonna bring this at 7.9, as close to eight as I can without making it an eight, 
this is something you need to kind of keep your eyes out for. Um, Kentucky Coffee Barrel Cream Ale. Fantastic beer. Wow. Amazing. Anyway, guys, that's a review. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out the drone channel. And we'll catch you on the next one. All right? Peace out. See you.